Hi, I'm Jen. I have officially done favorites for one year now, and I've done 11 out of 12, so that's pretty damn good. I just missed March, but the, there's nothing in March anyway, other than St. Patrick's Day. So, without further ado, here are my July favorites. Woo! In the summertime, I tend towards earrings instead of necklaces and rings. Like, I'll wear necklaces and rings, but my first choice are earrings because they kind of stay your way and they're a good way to kind of just add a little bit of gleam to your face. I've been loving these square-shaped ones from H&M. They're kind of like a fun twist from the regular hoop earrings because They've got that same effect, but they're in a cooler shape in my opinion. They match with everything because most of my jewelry happens to be silver, so it's just kind of another one to throw in the mix. I know many of you think that I only wear heels, but that's a lie because I do wear flats. My favorite this month have been my Jeffrey Campbell Castros. They're a really industrial looking gladiator sandal, and the buckles are actually kind of like mini mirrors. So when you're walking in the sun, they just really gleam and shine, and I think they're wicked. As for sizing, when I first got them, they were a little bit snug, like my pinky toe kept on chafing, but after five to six times of wearing it, they have stretched out and they're one of the most comfortable shoes that I own. So I would say they're true to size. Next up, I've got my fly white sunglasses. I really like them because they're rounded. I have been loving either rounded sunglasses or squared, and these are a really fun pop of white to add to any outfit. They've got a really cool, fresh, funky factor, and uh, they're kind of reminiscent to Wonka circa 2005, but I think it's fine because I'm not a uh, middle-aged dude, so I don't think I look exactly like it. When I went to Canada last month, one book that I devoured was Memoirs of a Geisha. It's a really fast read with great plot development. I think one of the reasons why I couldn't put it down was because it was written in such a clear and concise way. There are a few words that need defining, so you can just kind of get lost in the book. Basically, it's an easy read. So here's a quick summary. It's about a young girl named Sayuri who gets thrown into the world of geisha land, and you kind of follow her journey into evolving into one of Japan's top geisha. I have yet to see the movie because I am so terrified of shattering Sayuri and the chairman's image in my head because in my brain they are perfect beings so it's gonna be weird to kind of see what the director's interpretation is but if you've seen the movie let me know how it is and maybe you guys can convince me if it's really good. Here's a vintage find that I've been wearing non-stop there was a point in July where I wore it five days straight as pajamas and just everyday wear. It is basically just a big black oversized shirt that has Mo, one of the Three Stooges. I love the color scheme because it's black, white, and red, and I'm really able to kind of make the red pop out more when I add a bright red lip to it. I just think it's a fun way to coordinate with the shirt. I saw Fruitvale Station last month and I urge you to go see it. It is about a true story of a man named Oscar Grant who was shot and killed by a BART officer. And BART is the tr public transportation system in the Bay Area. And it is a good example of how racism is still prevalent inside the United States. And I think it's a huge problem that kind of remains ignored and latent amongst those who are racially privileged and I think it's important to kind of stress that people are more than just stereotypes and characters of their race. We are more than what a typecast says about us. We're human beings with different experiences in life and different stories and just being a certain race or your skin color doesn't determine on who you are as a human being. I don't think there was a dry eye in the theater and I want you to go see it before it's not in theaters anymore. I have a music playlist for you. I made a summer playlist when I was working with MTV Canada, so I'll put the playlist in the description box below. Lastly, I wanted to give a shout out to Julie who wrote me this great letter and gave it to me at my flea market. It really kind of made me choke up because I didn't know what kind of effect I, I had on you and um, 
I just wanted to let you know that it really touched me and I had no way of writing you back so I'm gonna kind of say it like this so thank you for taking the time out to write something so amazing to me and I really appreciate it. Other news, I have technically moved into my new place but there is nothing in there, not even a bed. I'm actually gonna go bed shopping today, hopefully I'll leave with something. This month has been, or I guess last month has been really, really stressful more than school actually so it's been a huge transition period for me and i want to thank you guys for sticking in with me and being really patient if you have an instagram my username is i'm feel free to check me out i'll see you in my next video bye